compute the integral of cosine 2t divided by 1 plus sine 2t dt. So let's start by first prepping the integral. So we'll take the expression in the bottom, 1 plus the sine of 2t, don't forget those parentheses, and we'll bring it up to the top with a negative 1 power, uh, times cosine of 2t dt. So parentheses where they belong and powers. Once again, we have a product integral, but this minus 1 right here prevents FOIL, prevents expanding. So we're going to have to use a substitution. Looking for the most complicated thing in parentheses, 1 plus sine of 2t is our best bet. So let's give this a shot and see if it works. So the derivative du dx, or dt, I guess, sorry, should be uh, the derivative of sine of blank is cosine blank times the derivative of blank. The blank is 2t, the derivative is 2. So we can multiply both sides by dt, and we could get the differential of u is 2 cosine of 2t dt. Uh, let's divide that constant out too. So we're going to have 1 half du is equal to cosine of 2t dt. And this is the differential we need to fit. So does it match? Well, right up here we have that part. So we can replace cosine 2t dt with 1 half du. We can replace the first bit here with just u to the minus 1. And this becomes our new integral. If we clean this up, we're going to have the integral of 1 half u to the minus 1 du. It's worth noting that this is exactly the same substitution we got after, or sorry, the same integral we got after substitution as the previous example. It's amazing how different a function can look before you make a substitution. Anyway, let's keep going. If we continue where we were last time, we saw that the antiderivative was 1 half ln of the absolute value of u. If we make our back substitution, we get 1 half natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 plus the sine of 2t. This gives us one of our antiderivatives, and adding plus c gives us all of our antiderivatives. And we're done.